Hey, good morning. It's Daphne and we are working on page six. Page six. So you're going to start with two flaps and these flaps are four and a half by eight, four and a half by eight. You're going to score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. And I want to apologize in advance for any blowers that you hear in the background, but it's gardening day here. So you can't do a whole lot about that. And I want to get this video completed so we can uh, move on to the next. Okay, so we're gonna install these left and right. <clears throat> Whoops, that's not right. Let's to scooch over a little bit. Do that one more time. <clears throat> there, we go. there we go. That's nice. All right. So let's see. We've got this image. So this is coming from the 8x8 pack. Um, and of course, I just split it in half. So we have this continuous pattern on the front. And I think I've inked and trimmed everything, but I'm going to double check. And I'm going to put this white sheet under here so I can see better. Yep, that looks right. I hope everybody's doing well. We're finally getting a little bit of sunshine here in San Diego. We've had what we call uh, June gloom, um, where everybody's getting out of school and we're ready for summer and then it gets cloudy <laughs> for about a month and then um come july you know it'll be nice and sunny and warm it's kind of strange it's not really cold but it's just looks like it's going to rain all the time and it doesn't it just lots and lots of overcast there we go and of course, um, probably about 10 miles from the coast. So some of it's, you know, part of the coastal eddy that, that blows in. And then, you know, around 3 o'clock, we might get a peak of sun for a little bit. Okay, that's the weather report. <laughs> <clears throat> Strike at this real quick. Oh, Yeah, that needs to be trimmed, doesn't it? I'm glad I checked. <clears throat> Let's give this a shot. How's that? That looks right. Okay, finish inking this. You know, I lost some video <clears throat> uh, through part of this project, so I just wanted to t check real quick and make sure I was recording. I think I got out of sync on when I was hitting record or stop, and I missed part of the last page. Um, it's pretty straightforward, and if you, I'm going to do a really short video of the finish of page three. <clears throat> And I'm going to put it at the beginning, <clears throat> excuse me, of the video, so hopefully you can piece it all together. It's not a very complicated page, so. Okay, so there we go. We've got our flaps. <clears throat> now, we are going to do, here we go. We're going to do some fun stuff. We're going to put pockets on the inside of these panels. And you're going to start with five by two and a half. Five by two and a half. Is that right? Two. Yeah. Five by two and a half. And you're going to score a half inch on three sides to make a little pocket. And it's going to go right here on the bottom. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Okay, now I actually made this just a smidge under five and then score it all the way around because I want it to set cleanly inside this score line. And when I say a smidge, I mean maybe a sixteenth of an inch, just a little bit, so that when I go to close this, it'll stay closed. Now you're going to do a second one. So this is going to be like a double pocket. And this is two and a half by five. So again, it's two and a half by five, but you're only going to score the two outside edges. So you're going to score a half inch and four and a half. And this is two and a half inches deep. And you're just going to miter this corner, but you're not going to score and fold it. You're going to slip that miter right inside this pocket. Okay. So the idea is the top pocket is going to pass all the way through, all the way through and be caught by the second pocket. Okay, because I don't want two shallow pockets, I want one that's deep. Okay, now on the bottom, I'm just going to add a little bit of no, I'm not, no glue, nothing on the bottom, so it slips right into the pocket. If you put anything on the bottom, it'll just close, make it a pocket. And right now, we just want it up to be a what I would call a pass through. Okay, there we go. Now I'll demonstrate that really quick. So the bottom one is very shallow, and the top one will pass. What's it getting stuck on? There we go. I don't know. Got stuck on a little bit, a little piece of tape. So it's passing through all the way down to here. Okay, and then this is the shallow pocket. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to um, decorate it. We're going to add a magnet right there. I'm going to make sure I've got it flipped over from whatever's going on here. So this is on the pass through. We're not going to put anything on the top of this pocket. Everything's going to go on the inside, and that's why we waited to place that. Okay. Now, here's my... Here they are. They're flipped over so I didn't recognize them. So here are my two pieces that are going to go right here. Oops. Uh, <clears throat> this should be a continuous pattern. There it is. So this will be the bottom, and then this will be the second one. Okay. They're already ink trimmed, ready to go. doing with my border. Okay, that looks good. Oops. Okay, so this is from the 8x8 collection pack. So this is the front of one of the cut aparts, and then this is the back, and I'm going to use that as a journaling card. It's going to go right in there. I did two. I did uh, both Sir and Madam, or Miss, not sure. <clears throat> This is the insert that's going to go in this pocket. The insert is three and three quarter by seven. Three and three quarter by seven. You can choose what you wanted. I wanted to choose something fairly basic. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat this process over here. I've already covered these, so they're going to go very quickly. We went over how to do the installation, so <clears throat> we put the full pocket on the bottom. And again, this is five by two and a half smidge under five um, 
And then what you do is you make it a little bit smaller than five, and then you score a half inch, rotate 45, score a half inch, rotate 45. So all the half inches are right on, <clears throat> and that's what makes it just under four inches when you're finished. So it's going to go flush with the outside edge of the flap, which should leave you just a slight space over here to accommodate sort of the bulk in the hinge area. And then again, this is two and a half by five, two and a half by five. On this one, you're only going to score at half inch and four and a half inches on the five inch side. You're going to leave the bottom alone, miter the two corners so it'll slip easily into the pocket. I've already placed my magnet inside, and that's the other magnet that's going to get placed on the base. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to slip this flange right inside the pocket and we're going to push it down until it won't push anymore and that means it's at the top of the pocket. Okay, that gives us our double pocket, one shallow, one deep. There's our other magnets. We've got our magnets on both sides. Okay, so what I need to do now, this is, these are the two inserts. So one for each side. So I'm going to decide what I'm putting here. And I think I have two of these. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and continue the pattern. And I think this one goes on this side. Yes, it does. Let's ink it and put this down. Here it is. <clears throat> oh, by the way, um, they stopped making mahogany, and the new color is, I forget, but there's a new dark brown um, that's going to replace uh, mahogany. They do this every few years, I think. I used to use espresso, then went to mahogany, and I like both of them. Um, I just tend to go as dark as possible because... Uh, I don't distress too far into the image. I'm really just trying to knock off that white core. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that three and a quarter by seven inch insert in. And then she's gonna go on this side and you can have her sit half in, half out. I did the same thing as on Sir Vagabond. Oh, you know what? That's, I just realized that's gonna be a problem. I hadn't thought that through. This is a problem. What we put in here has to be smaller because it can't cover the magnet. Yep, I'm gonna to have to put something shorter in there. I'll use these someplace else. I do have um, some smaller things that I can put in. So I, ideally, I want to stay just under the location of the magnet. So I'll come back to that. Uh, let's go ahead and finish this. Okay, I think I need this one. Yep, so it's just a continuation of the pattern. <clears throat> Inserts can go in here. This must be caught up on the, the lower flange. Or did I make them the same size? Yes, I did. It's a 
little snug. Okay, now we want to place our magnets on the inside. So I'm going to put uh, some adhesive on them. Hopefully, get them to stick on the other side. There we go. So, uh, some thoughts here, because I'm disappointed that I have to now um, be so careful about the placement of what goes in this pocket. So one of the things that you can do um, to sort of alleviate that, <clears throat> one is put your magnets down here so that everything will be on the back side of the magnet, or place your magnet on the outside of the pocket. So you can still put something relatively tall, but you have to watch the width um, instead of the height. So those are two, two ideas to um, minimize, you know, your any issues that you might, or interference that you might have with, with your magnets. Now I'm going to test it real quick before I glue this and make sure my magnet didn't move doesn't feel like it did. Okay, very good. It's not crazy sticky, so that one needs a little bit more adhesive. And that should do it. <clears throat> Again, it's really important not to have any interference with your magnet because of these pockets. They're thicker. So the overall, when you close it, the magnets have more weight to um, manage. So you want to keep as few layers as possible between the magnet and between the two magnets. <clears throat> I got the dropsies. <laughs> Make sure that's right side up. Okay. Now I'm going to put two magnets right here just so I know the height that I have to deal with. I think this one's the lowest, so I'm gonna use that as my reference. <clears throat> I'm just gonna use, I've cut spare paper everywhere that I use for notes left over from projects. So let's see, where's my pencil? So it needs to be about there. That is three inches. So I can put up to three inches inside the pocket without any interference with a magnet. So let's see, what did this happen to be? This happened to be four inches, <clears throat> which you can still tuck them in here because it's, well, it's going to go all the way to the bottom, but, or it could go all the way to the bottom. That one, for some reason, is really snug. That's all right. Okay. Well, uh, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? Let's take our inserts out. Well, nope, let's leave them in. Let's get our inserts all the way down. So it's going to go down to seven inches, which it should do. And I don't know why this one keeps getting stuck. There. Okay, now let's locate these. So 
that what I want to do? I think so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually glue this this right on top of this. So I'm going to put uh, try to make an equal border around. So I'm going to frame this. So you can do a little journaling there, journaling and photos on the back. <clears throat> How's that? I like it. I didn't want to waste these because I really like them. <laughs> so there you go. New plan. Okay. The deal is here. This is just so stinking tight. There we go. Okay. Now, two, we're going to do six by, I don't know, something. Five and a half. test and see how I like the way it looks. see if I like the way this looks this is a uh, three by three what do y'all think three by three I think I like it I think about it for a second three by three now I'm going to find some paper to cover this. It's going to be a contrast. There we go. So I don't want to use the same paper. I'm going to use something different. Something. That's too similar. I like the dark brown. Let's see if I can find some dark brown. Or what do I think about that? What do y'all think about that? Let's try. I like it. That's it. Three. I like the way it pulls the brown back in on the top. I'm going to ink it, paste it, put it in the pocket, and we're done with page six. Purdy, purdy. No, we don't need that magnet anymore. 
awesome. do here. I think I need to embellish it with something, but I don't know what. Something interesting. Maybe I'll add some tags. Put these in. It needs a little something. I think I missed a side. Yep. No. second to dry because it's uh, got a glossy finish to it. All right, let's see. Get my cap on. I think we're done. Okay, that is it for page six. Page six. Okay, be back soon, guys. <laughs>